So the first term that we will understand is electrical circuit. What is electrical circuit? It is basically a connection of electrical components. We can have any sorts of electrical components like resistance, inductance, capacitance, diode and so on. There can be any electrical components and once you connect them in a certain manner then it will be known as a circuit. Now when we design a circuit our intention is that that the current must flow in the circuit. Now what is current? Basically current is the rate of flow of electrical charge. Now, now this current must flow through the entire circuit in order to energize each and every component in the circuit. Is it fine? Now for the current flow, what is the necessary condition? There are two necessary condition. One is EMF source. What is EMF? EMF is the electromotive force which is responsible for energizing any sorts of electrical circuit. And next is your closed path. For current to flow, we need a EMF source and a closed path. A closed path is basically a path that starts and ends at the same point. Like suppose if there are two points A and B apart. That will start at A and terminate at B. Then it starts from B and terminates at B. Will be a closed path. Current needs such kind of path to flow. Now one of this path always known as a forward path. Basically what is the purpose of forward path? To carry the current from a source to load. Okay. Okay, it is the purpose of forward path. And the path that brings the current back is known as a return path. So that means we need a forward path as well as return path for the flow of current. Is it fine? The bigger form of electrical circuit is known as a network. That means the network comprises of many circuit like circuit 1, circuit 2, circuit 3 and so on. An example of this we can take from any electrical device. Let us take an example of television. In this there will be a multiple circuit like sensing the remote signal. There will be a circuit to control the display. Then there will be a circuit which will be related to power supply. Then there will be a circuit which will be connected to a D2H. This way there will be a multiple circuit. And when all these circuits are connected together to work in a certain manner then it will be known as a electrical network. So that is the difference between a circuit and a network. So network is nothing but a bigger part of a circuit or a bigger form of a circuit. We can say circuit is a subset of a network. Is it fine? So network is nothing but a large number of interconnected circuit. Another example you can take from a car. It has an accelerator which itself is a system in itself. Then a steering wheel. Then your music system is also installed. This way there will be a multiple system inside a single large system. Those system will be called as a subsystem. And network terminology, that entire system is called as a network. And subsystems are called as a circuit. 